Welcome to the Assembly of Living Tabernacles. You are God's living tabernacle. You carry Christ within you. There are certain things and certain realms or certain things that cannot happen around you once you come into this understanding. Today I feel God is interrupting our, our series on intercession to bring us to the place of experiencing his glory in divine health and victory over strange ailments. Can you say to yourself, Christ in me? Christ. Say it again, Christ is, in me. Christ is in me. Let's go to Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. This scripture here has inexplicable ramifications, but I feel today God wants to unveil to us a secret that will take us as a house as grace family, as individuals, into the place of health and well-being. Can we read together? For God wanted them to know that the riches and glory of Christ are for you Gentiles too. And this is the secret. Christ lives in you. This gives you the assurance of sharing his glory. Christ lives in you. Christ lives in me. This year, that statement is, is the entirety of our kingdom reality summarized in one line. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. This message was is so it's so vital that the bible tells us in verse 26 that it was kept for as a secret for generations and centuries past and it was so so important that god wanted you to know that's why he has now revealed it to you you the people of god you that are members of his household you that have surrendered your life to christ you that acknowledge him as his savior not you that is in church not you that belongs to one de denomination but you that is a member of the family of God. God wants you to know that Christ lives in you, that you carry Christ within you. And because you carry the one who is the hair of all things in you, you have everything and that's not all. You have the assurance of sharing in his glory. We are God's living tabernacles. Yesterday I was toy toying with the, with the idea that I'm a living shrine. Do you remember, do you know how you pass by a shrine? Some of us, even with all our prayers, we tiptoe pass as if you don't want to wake those things. You are a living shrine. You are God's living tabernacles. And yet most of us do not know who we are and therefore we do not live in the awareness that we carry Christ within us. And because we, we are not living in the awareness that we carry Christ within us, we are living tabernacles, we are also carrying around other things in this divine res residence. And today, God wants you to come into the understanding of who you are, what you carry within you, so you can stand on that understanding and kick out things from you that is not Christ. God wants to take strange ailments, take strange diseases, take those things that are complicated, take sicknesses, take infections from you. And all that he wants you to know is to remember, come into the awareness, come into the understanding that Christ lives in you. This is the secret of health. This is the secret of power. This is the secret of life. When he says, I've given you all things that pertain to life and godliness, it's because he knows carrying embedded within you is the Christ that unfolds, unfold, unfolds life in you. So God wants you to know that scripture. Keep the scripture on the screen. Say, for God wanted them to know. God wants you to know that Christ lives within you. So you can stand on that revelation and kick cancer out of your body. You can stand on the revelation, on the understanding that Christ lives within you and kick sickness, kick infections, kick infirmities, kick that doctor's diagnosis, kick that thing that you are suffering, kick it out of your system, kick that weakness out of your system. There is a healing grace in this house, but beyond that today, God wants to bring us not just to the place of health, but he wants us to walk and understand that we are his living plan of health to the people in our spheres. 
So you are not, God doesn't just want you to be healthy. He wants you to know that when you walk into a place, because you are there and you are living tabernacle, health should be what the people in that space enjoy. Christ is within you. Whatever he is, that's who you are. Whatever he has, that's what you have. Because if something, if somebody is living and breathing through you, whoever that person is, that is who you are. His life is your life because you are living, he is living his life through you. This is what God wants us to know today. This is the secret God wants to reveal to us today. Today, that the life of Christ within you means health to your body and life to your spirit. If you forget everything today, take it home that, the, that Christ within me means health to my body. And so because I carry Christ within me, my life, come, my mind comes alive, my lungs come alive. There is life in my heart, life in my kidney, life in my womb. You cannot carry a dead womb. It is not found in Christ. So Christ within me means health to my body and life to my spirit. Christ within me means I am a host of God. I play host to God. I cannot play host to sicknesses. I cannot play host to diseases. I cannot play host to darkness. I cannot carry Christ and carry illnesses. Christ is embedded within you. Christ is living in you. God wants to bring us to the place of health because he's been telling us it's time to rise and intercede. It's time to take nations. It's time to take over territories. It's time to take over neighborhoods. You are not going to do it. You will not be an effective warrior if you are not healthy. You will not be able to intercede as the Holy Spirit prompt, prompts you. If you need help rising up to stand on your own, you cannot powerfully stand in the gap for another person if you are weak, if you are infirm. That's why when he interrupted my week and said I should come to reveal this secret, to bring you to that understanding that everything you need for life and godliness, for health today and well-being, he has given to you. And that secret is you simply living in the awareness that you are a living tabernacle and you carry Christ within you and you cannot carry Christ and carry cancer. So I, even as I speak, I, I, be, I, I, I want to believe, I believe that as you come to the understanding, you will stand up and forget the things you came with. You will stand up and forget the ailments, the cancers, the, the different problems that you've been diagnosed of. Why? You cannot share the temple of God with those things. Christ lives in you. Today we are going to prophesy to each other before we prophesy to us, ourselves. So I want you to rise and choose a partner. Speak to that person knowing that you are a king and you are a priest. Tell that person, Christ is in you. It's a prophecy. Christ is in you. Sickness cannot disgrace you. Diseases cannot put you to shame. You are the living tabernacle of the most high God. You carry God within you. The power of Satan is of none effect in your life. You cannot carry God and carry diseases. You abound in health. In the name of Jesus. So now you speak to yourself, I am a living tabernacle. Christ lives in me. Sicknesses and diseases cannot find expression in me. It's a prophecy. You are addressing things in you. You are addressing the strongholds. I had spoken and bound every spirit of infirmity over this house. And I had spoken and released upon this house the spirit of health and healing. So I, in your speaking, you are entering into a, a, a dimension. You are entering into an administration and receiving that which God has already made available. Say, I am the resurrected life. I have the resurrected life of Christ. In me, my body cannot carry God and be in pain. My health is transformed by the presence of the Lord. God brought this up because he had given us spiritual intelligence that the enemy wants to afflict people with strange ailments. So I want you to speak it 
and understand that you are dealing with things you do not see and you are casting things out of this place. We're setting up a, a government here that when anybody walks into this place, things will leave that person. Why? Christ lives in them. So say it again. Christ lives in me. I am the living tabernacle of God. His life means health to my body and life to my spirit. His light brightens my path and directs my steps. His wisdom guides my acts and governs my words. My home is transformed by the presence of the Lord. I am a living tabernacle. Christ lives in me. The almighty God is in me. I cannot be small. The omnipotent one resides in me. I cannot be weak. The omnipresent king abides in me. I cannot fail. The all-sufficient father dwells in me. I lack no good thing. My sphere is transformed by the presence of the Lord. Say Christ lives in me. Victory lives in me. I cannot be conquered. Wisdom lives in me. I cannot be foolish. Light lives in me. I cannot walk in darkness. Vision lives in me. I cannot be confused. Might lives in me. I cannot be feeble. Life lives in me. I shall not die young. Glory lives in me. I shall not see shame and decay. Christ lives in me. His life brings health and healing to my body. My life is transformed by the presence of the Lord. Keep speaking that Christ lives in me. Use your own words because God is releasing the spirit of health. God has released the spirit of health and soundness upon this house. You will go back home and find out that the ailment you had, the chronic, the chronic ailment you had are gone. Christ lives in me. Not sickness. Christ lives in me. Not dementia. Christ lives in me. Not infirmities. I am a living tabernacle. Christ lives in me. Not cancer. Christ lives in me. Not arthritis. Christ lives in me. Not insanity. Christ lives in me. His life brings health and well being to my body. As you speak, the things you carry that did not come from Christ is being taken from you. As you speak, the word of God is being begotten in you. Whatever is not of Christ is taken from you. As you speak, the shackles of darkness and diseases are falling off. As you speak, your body is being healed of strange ailments and infirmities. Christ lives in me. Peace lives in me. Joy lives in me. Victory lives in me. I go from glory to glory. Christ lives in me. My head is full of life. My heart is full of life. My lungs are full of life. My kidneys are full of life. Lord, my blood is full of life. My bread is full of life. Christ lives in me. I have everything that Christ has. Things you do not carry. The God did not give you a second from me. Christ lives in me. Surgeries are being performed on those strange growth. Christ lives in you. Chains are broken. Graves are open. Life is begotten in you. Christ lives in you. Darkness loses its hold on you. Clarity comes to you. Christ lives in you. Every experience contrary to that of God is taken from you. The world is begotten in you. You are a living tabernacle. Christ lives in you. You carry the fullness of the Godhead. Christ lives in you. You are not under the administration of shame and disgrace. Christ lives in you. You are a living tabernacle. Christ lives in you. Cancer is gone. Sicknesses are gone. Diseases are gone. Infirmities are gone. For Christ lives his life in you. Thank 